Are you wondering what to get your artist or musician family and friends this holiday season? Need some ideas or recommendations? If so, then stick around because today I'm sharing my holiday gift guide so that you can spread a little holiday cheer to the music lover in your life. So let's blast off and get started. JM in your universe. Konnichiwa friends, I'm Jonathan Miller and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music where we help each other become better artists. I make pop music and every Wednesday on this channel I'm helping others take their music to level 2. If that sounds good, consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell, maybe giving this video a like and sharing it with a friend. My goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year so if you find this video helpful, any interaction with it helps me out a ton. If not, okay normally I would say something very sarcastic here in order to get you to subscribe, but Thanksgiving is tomorrow here in the US and I did just want to say how much I appreciate all of you that have subscribed to my channel. We passed over 5,000 subscribers this year and I honestly can't even believe it still. I've been at this for a very long time so it really means a lot to me. So thank you, I really do mean it. And if you don't subscribe, I'm not thankful for you in the slightest. Subscribe! Just kidding. <laughs> all right, so it's that time of year again, the holidays. I know it can be stressful, especially when you're not really sure what to get somebody. And there are so many products in this world related to music. How do you know what to get? So I just want to share a few of my recommendations this year, including some awesome music and albums that I love this year that will meet the needs of a lot of music lovers or aspiring artists. I've also put links in the description to all of the things that I've mentioned in this video today. Please use my links when you go shopping because you'll not only be helping yourself, but you'll also be helping me and this channel grow so that I can keep my lights on and keep making videos like this one. Anyway, let's jump in. The first recommendation I have for you today is a book called The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. It's a super easy to read book for any artist in your life that you know who might be struggling a little bit with self-motivation or getting projects done or not really feeling good enough in this industry, which is a very common problem. It's designed to be straightforward so that the reader can kind of filter through it and extract the most important parts from it and apply it to their own life. Some chapters are literally super short and I read this book in a day, but it helped me realize that a lot of the things I thought were my biggest weaknesses are actually my greatest strengths. And more importantly, it helped me figure out why I felt that way. So I recommend this to any aspiring artist or struggling musician. Next up, I recommend the Akai Mini Professional Keyboard for Home Artists. I've talked about it before in my How to Make a Song Without Playing an Instrument video, link in the description to that. But it's something that's helped me out so much as somebody who doesn't really play a formal instrument. It goes for about $120 and is ready to go with just a USB input. It comes with everything you'll need and it doesn't really take up that much space like on your desk. Unlike a full length keyboard which can really clog up your space. So it's really great for bedroom artists or musicians starting out. It's got a nice built-in drum pad too, so you don't have to buy extra equipment, and it literally just plugs into your digital audio workstation and is ready to go. I highly recommend it because Akai always has great products. Next up, if you're looking for a new microphone, I recently got a new one that I absolutely love. It's the Audio Products Stellar X2, and let me tell you, it's been awesome so far. It's a great condenser microphone, which is great for vocal recording, and it produces a really nice warm quality, while eliminating a lot of background noises on its own. It's about $200, but worth every penny. I've been using it while recording my latest album project, and it's been great. It's super high quality without a super high quality price tag, so if you know somebody who wants to get into recording or you're looking to upgrade while still being budget friendly, I absolutely recommend this one. Now, if you're looking for a great pair of studio monitors, I recommend ones by Edifier. I've got them all hooked up right in the background, but I'll put a clear picture up right here. I have the R1010BT model, which is a few years old and they've come out with newer ones, but most of their models are pretty awesome. I've had these ones for about five years now and the sound quality is still just as clear as ever. And they even have Bluetooth capabilities, which is great if you just want a pair of home speakers to listen to music. They're really budget conscious for studio monitors and I personally love the sound quality. So if you're looking for a set of speakers that you can even mix on, I highly recommend these ones. Now, if your friend or family member does anything online, especially in video format, I highly recommend getting a ring light. There's a couple different types you can get and I'll put links to both in the description. The smaller one is geared towards use with your phone and can be set on a desk or something, which is great for filming things like reels or TikToks. The other one, which I'm using right now, is a stand-up one designed for camera work. Lighting is key for video. And luckily, ring lights aren't too terribly expensive. They're also really handy to have if you live in an area like I do where daylight is sometimes hard to come by. Love the Pacific Northwest. 
Anyway, again, both links are in the description. All right, so now this is for the music lovers out there. A lot of great music has just been released lately or is coming out very soon. I know we have things like Spotify nowadays, but physical albums and even vinyl are still cool to have. So here are some albums that I recommend checking out. If someone you know loves pop and country music, I definitely recommend Red Taylor's version by Taylor Swift. If you don't know, Taylor's been re-recording her music due to a legal battle over the ownership of her original recordings, which I have many videos on if you want to know more about that. Again, links in the description. But these re-recordings are actually very refreshing and beautiful. So if you know a Taylor Swift fan out there, make sure you grab this album. Adele also just dropped her new album, 30, which is amazing. ABBA also released their first new album in over 40 years, and it's just as beautiful as you'd expect. Both albums are great for fans who might be a little older, but still want some good, easy listening because they're super melodic and beautifully written. So those are great ones to grab as well. If you're looking for some R&B soul or hip hop and rap, Doja Cat dropped an awesome album this year called Planet Her. She's made a lot of hits and they all go really hard. Lil Nas X also dropped his debut album Montero, which is an excellent body of work and great for an LGBTQ plus audience as well. Finally today, if you happen to know a K-pop fan out there, I recommend Twice's latest album Formula of Love, or Itzy's gonna be dropping their Japanese album debut, which comes out before Christmas, but you can pre-order it now. Both groups are amazing, so go check them out because everything that I listed today are excellent additions for any music lover or aspiring artist this holiday season. So that is my holiday gift guide this year. Question of the video, what are you hoping for this holiday season? Leave me a comment below letting me know. Also, don't forget, I've put links to everything that I mentioned in today's video in the description below, so make sure you use them to support and help this channel grow. But if you really like me and like what I do, consider joining me on Patreon like Abigail here and all these fantastic people to get all sorts of fun rewards, including access to my YouTube calendar to see what's coming to the channel. But as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new. I put out new videos every single Wednesday. Once again, I'm Jonathan Miller, and I will see you next time. See you later. I'm a machine, I got a robot, not a operation, electronically, my messages are magnetic vibrations, once a time.